Hey, what's up, everybody? This is All Album Mobile West Tech, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how you can increase the intelligence of your doorknob by simply installing this. Now, I'll talk more about it right after this. Before I get started, if you end up liking my content, please do not hesitate to give this video a thumbs up as it truly helps me out. Also, if you want to receive more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel by hitting that subscribe and a notification bell button. That we can always stay informed whenever I post new content on my channel. All right, so let's have a quick look at the packaging. Not a whole lot going on here. All right. So with that stated, let's go ahead and get this opened up. There we go. Let's see. All right, so that was easy enough. Here we go. So you have your, your install manual. It should be pretty straightforward. All right, and you have your 3M adhesive. All right, so this should go on one side of the door and this one will go on the other side of the door, like so. All right, and you can extend the warranty with this card. All right, pretty cool. And here is the V-Lock smart door lock right here. All right, really nice, really simple. Pretty cool. All right. And you also have a pair of keys. Last but not least, you have, I'm assuming these are the screws and things you would need to get in and start. Let's see here. Yep. There's something else in here as well. So yeah, these are the other things that you would need to get this doorknob or smart doorknob installed. All right. All right, so let's have a closer look at this smart doorknob. All right, this is all metal. All right, this of course is plastic. All right, as far as setting this up and getting installed, it should be straightforward. So for the time sake of the video, I won't go through the process, at least show you the steps of installing this onto the door because it's gonna be pretty straightforward. You're just gonna remove your old doorknob and then place this one on there and it should go on the same way. And then peel right here. Peel that back. You will see where you can actually use, uh, let me see, I try to use this finger. Here we go. This is where you can use the alternate keys. Maybe the battery died or if you're not able to, if you're having issues with the passcode, you can always use the keys that come with, all right? So to open it there. And you also have a micro USB charge port to remove the battery cover, you have to remove these screws first. And you just use the hex screwdriver here. All right. And then just start removing these. All right, so let's get this last one out of there. Let's put it down here. As you can see, they're all missing now. All right, so now you're gonna use this. All right, you see that right there? You just place it in here. And there you go. And it looks like it uses four AAA batteries. 
all right and obviously it does not come with the battery so you will have to supply your own batteries all right so i have my batteries in there close this shut and as you can see it has power now now i just need to place my screws back in there and then this will be ready to go As you can see, I have my screws in here now. Just tighten everything up. There we go. And then close it back up. And that's all done. Now I probably won't need this here. I will take it with me, but chances are I won't need it. All right. And then I'll show you how to operate this once I have this installed. All right, so as you can see here, I do have it installed. All right. And it opens just like this. Of course, just like any other doorknob. Very simple. All right. Now, again, the setup process took me only about five minutes. So not a problem at all. And the instructions walk you exactly on how to do it. So that shouldn't be an issue. Now to get this configured for regular use is really simple. The default passcode is one, two, three, four, five, six. And to clear that default admin passcode, press the padlock key. All right. Twice. Then put the default passcode in four, five, six, hit the padlock key. And as you can see, it's flashing. Now to change it, you'll put your new code in. One, two, three. One, two, three. Padlock. And do it again. So now the admin passcode is different. It's the new one I just entered. All right, so that's how you clear the default one. Now to create your pin code for this, the one that you would use on a regular basis, very simple. You will go ahead and hit the padlock twice again. Put your admin passcode in. And then hit the padlock again. You'll press one. And then now you will enter your default passcode. So let's say I do and hit the padlock, do it again. So that, that would be the passcode I would use to enter into the door. All right, very simple. So let's say I wanted to alter my admin passcode. What you would do is hit the padlock button twice or key twice, I keep calling the button, but you would press the padlock key twice, put in your pass, your admin passcode, hit the padlock again, you'll press four, and then you would do your new admin passcode. And these are all six digits. Padlock again, do it one more time. padlock so that this is now my new admin passcode very easy all right so let's say you wanted to delete your regular passcode the one that you would use to unlock this very simple hit that padlock key twice put your admin passcode in hit the padlock again now you will hit two not now you will go ahead and enter your regular passcode and then hit the lock and that's it and another thing you can do just so you will know let's say you put the passcode in wrong when you're trying to unlock this this escape button here will take you out of everything and have you starting at the beginning all right so if that say you wanted to put one two three one two three but instead you put one, two, three, one, two, five, or something like that. You can just start over by hitting this 
and then you can go ahead and enter your keys. But those are the basic functions, very simple and very easy. One last thing I wanted to point out, to unlock it, you would just put the same passcode in again. Padlock key, passcode, padlock. Another cool feature about this here is once you unlock it, it has a timer, then it automatically locks. So you don't have to go back and lock it. So the other side does not have, of course, a way of locking it. It auto locks. So once it auto locks, this is loose just like this. All right. So that's pretty cool. You don't have to go back and wonder, oh, did I lock the door or wherever you have this installed on? You don't have to worry about that. Once you open it and you close it, after a certain amount of time, it will lock. Now my verdict, what do I think about the WeLock smart doorknob? I think it's pretty cool. Of course, it's not perfect, but I think they're headed in the right direction. All right. I'm trying to work on being keyless as possible. And this is definitely an aid towards that. And what's nice about it, you do have the keys in case the battery were to die or if you forgot your pin code or whatnot. So it's nice that you have this and you can also charge up your phone or your device on the other end. And it has a nice, decent build. All in all, I definitely think it is a pretty cool product and I'm happy to continuously test it out. If you're interested in it, please use the link in the description section of this video. And this completes my review and setup of the WeLock Smart Doorknob. I thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Also, share it out and comment below. Until next time, keep it mobile.